Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, I'm going to introduce you to what a watershed is, as well as the six major watersheds we recognize in Pennsylvania. To understand the concept of a watershed, we can utilize rainfall. As rain falls and hits the ground, it's going to follow the path of least resistance. All of that rainfall that ends up in one common location is known as a drainage basin. We can then use that drainage basin to define our watershed. So right here behind me, we have a great example of some smaller watersheds all flowing into a larger one. You can see that right here, we have a ridge or a mountain peak, and we can actually use this to draw an imaginary line known as a watershed divide. Rain that falls on this side of the divide is gonna end up in this valley or stream. Rain that falls on this side of the divide is gonna end up in this valley or stream. So therefore, we can classify both of these locations as smaller scale watersheds. But notice, both of these small scale watersheds flow into the same common river basin. So down below us right now, we have the west branch of the Susquehanna River. The Susquehanna River represents a major water basin within Pennsylvania, or a major river basin, and we can define that as one of our six major watersheds. So now we're gonna zoom in on this map here. Today we're currently standing right here. And you'll see that the Susquehanna drainage is actually Pennsylvania's largest watershed at over 27,000 square miles. Everywhere where you see a different color on this map represents a larger major watershed. And at all the lines that separate those different colors, that's that imaginary line we talked about known as a watershed divide. So the other major river basins that we have in Pennsylvania is the Genesee watershed, our Lake Erie watershed, the Ohio watershed, the Potomac watershed, and the Delaware watershed. Bearing in mind that all of the rain that falls within this watershed is gonna flow to the same common waterway. So here in the Susquehanna watershed, all of the water that is in our watershed is eventually going to end up within the Chesapeake Bay. Understanding the concept of a watershed is important so you can gauge how you individually impact your watershed and how your community impacts your watershed as well. Over here behind me, you can see that we don't have, there's a big wall of rain coming right now, so it's a little bit difficult to see, but you, we don't have as much development, no urbanization, there's not a lot of roads, it's mostly just a forested area with a lot of good filtration. We come over here, on this side you'll notice that we do have some development, some urbanization, less trees, more roads, which represent impervious surfaces. So this area is gonna have more of an impact on the watershed as well as what's downstream. So understanding how you impact your watershed is great for you to understand how to start to conserve, protect, and enhance all the organisms that live within and around that watershed. And always remember, everyone is downstream from somewhere. To learn more about watersheds and waterways in Pennsylvania, you can visit fishingboat.com.